Good evening, everyone. So on tonight's dev blog, I'm going to go over the update a little bit more, show off some new host stuff I've been working on the past couple of days, and we'll jump right into it. So first and foremost, the update, it's about 98% done. Like, it's the finishing touches. Staff, I have their hands on tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> but everything's coming along really, really smooth. Um, just to show off some things, um, I added that UI, the interaction UI, to just about every truck. Actually, all the trucks, not just about. So when you go into the rear of this truck, for instance, a WI of what you can do so there's no confusion um, every truck has an intake that has either a waterway on it or um, handlines there's a few trucks that don't like the rescue the hazmat unit which I redid the hazmat unit um, added new wheels interior is not finished on it but it has a new steering wheel has mirrors now Graphics and um, texture still need to be made for it, so it's not blank. But there she is. Looks a lot better. Also added the new lights, new light bar to it. So, All right. So once again, for like this ladder, for instance, the ladders are accessible through the stairs and the steps now. You have a supply line you can drop. <laughs> everything fully has it um even this truck have it obviously st still some stuff to polish this is an attack line so next i'm going to show off the high rise packs and the fire department connections so on certain buildings in Canton County, um, for the first update, there's only going to be one. That's the hotel because it's like four stories. But there'll be other buildings that get them as well. Um, you'll have your fire department connection. And then you have standpipes. Unfortunately, in Canton County, all the standpipes are dry systems. And all the sprinklers are going to be dry systems. They're going to be tied in in a future update to sprinklers. So what you need to do is you need to get your fire department connection bundle you'll come over connect it you go to the discharge of a truck and connect it as well oops try to go off the side so the collision doesn't break bacon's fixing that tonight the collision so as you can see <laughs> fire department connections use a lot of water so you're gonna need to have water supply. So for right now, hydrants are automatic as well. Plug them in. There we go. So next up, grab your high-rise pack, find a standpipe. There you go. Now, something also is you can have two lines off each standpipe. Right now, the standpipes are the only thing that doesn't take into account um, the water. Like, it doesn't, it's pretty much, it doesn't affect the water at all. Like, as long as it has water coming to it, it doesn't care. Um, the other lines and stuff, they all gradually take up more water. So, if you were to connect, like, three trucks together, it'd be pretty much almost un unsustainable if you had, like, three deck guns and, like, four lines in service. So... Um, in the future, hydrants are going to be random. Um, they'll have a different color top on them. Some could even be dead. So, um, water capacity on the trucks. All the engines have a base of 1,000, and the tanker has 3,000. Also updated the brush truck, I think, a little bit. Yeah, just the steering wheel right now, and the new light bar. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. So... The hydrants right now, they all flow to maximum. They'll pretty much supply anything at this point in time. Um, speaking of the deck guns, so this is the old deck gun, this ugly thing. Um, I quickly modeled a new one. 
um, update the code for it. Oops. But it looks better. Um, that gun's will be on more trucks now. That it actually looks like it fits. Instead of like a Grand Theft Auto looking deck gun. When advanced pumping comes, you'll be able to see your pressures. Your... The water you're bringing in versus the water you're bringing out. Um, I'm going to be going pretty in depth with the simulation pumping almost one to one to real life with the exception of the actual pressures um they may still represent the real pressures but like behind the scenes they probably like i want to make it so like for instance a thousand gallons of water on one hand line with like your standard nozzle it'll last you like around 10 minutes um, which 10 minutes in this game is way too long in my opinion, so it's going to be shortened quite a bit. But you'll be able to have colossal failure, failures with your pumps. You'll be able to put your truck pretty much out of service. But on the other end of the spectrum, there is going to be a quick pump button for players either that don't want to mess with it, unfamiliar with it, new players, or you're just having a lazy day. it uh, auto-pump the truck. All right. So as you can see, the water gauge... We'll disconnect from the hydrant. We may be using a lot of water, so it's probably going to go down super quick. Yep. So, and then when you're out, you'll start blinking. So. Now, the tanker, once again, has 3,000. Um. I may try to put a deck gun on it. Bacon tonight's adding a feature to the deck gun so you're able to raise it and lower it because on this engine it kind of doesn't go over the cab. So you'll be able to raise and lower the deck gun. And <clears throat> scene lighting is actually going to control too. We'll have light towers on some of the trucks that go up and down and you'll be able to control it like a deck gun. Shine light where you want to. So... But back to the deck gun, it elevates so it can reach over the cab. But like I said, the update's almost done, guys. This is a shorter dev blog. I'm kind of wrapping things up now. Um, once it is completely done, I'll have staff do the latest build test, and we'll kind of iron out all the bugs, or as many as we can. Like this speedometer thing's not fully set up yet on all the trucks. But it'll hopefully be available within the next week or two for the public. Um, the coding will be 100% done tomorrow. All I have left is to play some new emergencies. The new window fire effects will be in and everything. New fire effects, new smoke effects. Um, and I look at this update as like the last stressful update i'll have because this completes my foundation of the game after this it's all building on things that are already made which is pretty nice and updates will start flying by um the next update coming after this one's the forestry update and then i'm going to do another firefighting update and expand the mechanics a bit more and what i mean by that is um there'll be objects that can catch on fire so like you could get hit out for like a couch on fire in a resident and it could either spread to the room or it could be contained to the couch and stuff. Uh, you'll have investigations to where like something could be smoking up the whole house. Like for, like it could come in as building fire and end up just being like um, a cigarette butt or something on the couch that just went off enough to smoke but then was extinguished or something. So there'll be investigations and stuff. I'm really expanding upon it. Um, I'm sticking to the roadmap pretty heavily that came out it's available in the discord and the updates um i'll pin it to the update channel if anyone wants to look at it again but this should be a pretty decent update for you guys i know a lot of people have been wanting the hose i'm working on truck handling um this update has them changed quite a bit slowing some trucks down making the steering a little bit tighter the lights the lighting uh Got changed a bit. Traffic advisors will be coming soon. Um, I already got them kind of like on the trucks, but I have like some small bugs. If I get them fixed, I'll uh, put them in. 
but nice little detail to them. Uh, another question I seen was last video was about firehouse interiors. Yep, they were getting completed and redone um, sometime within the next few months. And maybe even the next up, not the forestry update, but the update after that. Now with the forestry update, um, I'm redoing the entire customization system. So something I'm going to have is just like a, a example is you're going to be able to choose your helmet you have on your character. Um, I want to get to the point where you can choose the actual bend of your helmet so you can have left brim, an upward one or a downward one, depending on like what you want. You could have a salad bowl, a Euro helmet, even though people hate them. I kind of like them. I think they look like jet fighter helmets, stuff like that. So there's a lot of expansions coming in the future across the board. The hose system, I have different diameters right now, just kind of your standard inch and three quarters and four inch. I'm going to expand in the future with like two and a half, three inch supply lines. Um, you're going to have gated wires that I operate like this. You'll be able to place them wherever you want. So you can just connect um, a three inch supply line into it and feed two inch and three quarter lines off of it. So just a bunch of exciting things. I'm really proud of the progress. Um, after this update, Playway is going to start marketing. So sales should go through the roof. They're still pretty good and steady, but this should take it to the next level. Um, full localization is coming too. Um, that'd be coming either this update or like a little in-between update. As soon as I get the latest script back from the companies, it's getting sent out to them tomorrow. So anyway, any questions, comment below, and I'll be sure to answer them. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. And Discord link is in the description if you want to chat or have anything else to say. We have a good community, so good group of guys. Anyway, have a good night. Thanks for watching.